Hello guys, it's me, Red the Abit Dinosaur, and today we are in Forza Horizon 5 with the newest Secret Santa gift, the GMA D50. By the way, a small parenthesis, not only we are in Forza Horizon 5, but also in the crew too. Because when I was recording the version of Forza Horizon 5, I noticed that they were, they, the crew 2 released the T50 as well. So what we're going to do today is to actually have both reviews in one video. We're going to have the T50 in Forza Horizon 5 and at the same time we're going to review the T50 in the crew 2. We have some interesting results to show you and you can see also the big difference between Forza Horizon 5 and the Crew 2 in the way that they meant to be played and the way of the car how it behaves in two different games. It will be pretty interesting to see and compare how the, basically the same car in two different games and that will be pretty, pretty interesting for me and everyone else. So with this out of the way, let's start. A good background of what is the GM850 will be good because I know not all of my audience are basically car guys or car or car gals out there. So the GM850 is basically created and designed by the same men that designed the McLaren F1. Yeah, not the not the F1 car, the McLaren F1. One of my favorite personal cars ever. I think he is my and he's pretty much the the first hypercar ever. Is is basically a hero car for me. Um, what is the GM8050 improving over the McLaren F1? Well, you can see first the engine is basically a Cosworth B12 naturally aspirate, aspirated over 10,000 rpm this car pretty much revs like a like an f1 car and sounds like one you can see also a styling cues that are improved and but also look kind of the same of the mclaren f1 the front is pretty much the same in the t50 is way more improved uh, but the lines of the side you can see is pretty much the same and a small package with a big engine and all the all the tiny bits that Gordon Murray put it on the on the McLaren F1 and improved them over the GM80 50. Uh, you can also see on especially on the GM80 50, but also the McLaren F1 has it. Uh, is the fan of the back. The fan of the back is pretty much helps the aerodynamics of the car overall. Uh, makes it makes create downforce. And it's, it's a unique styling cue of, of Gordon Murray on all its designs. Goes back to the Brabant uh, and it goes back to its early F1 days uh, in Formula One. Talk, not talking about Formula One, not the uh, McLaren F1. Uh, it's the basically creating as much downforce and as much efficiency on the track. So the McLaren F1 has it too, but it's not as big as in the GM8050. It's hidden, but it's using still this ground effect that Gordon Murray is so obsessed about. And yeah, and as I was saying, it's pretty much a signature from its cars and its designs. So let's talk first about the, T the T50 in Forza Horizon 5. The performance of this car is stunning. It is pretty much the best car for short tracks and circuits due to its really good handling. The, the handling of this car is the second best. What is the first best in Forza Horizon 5? The Cess 2 Elemento FE. But this car is pretty much a good second place, which is not bad at all. Uh, the terms of downforce is is pretty much as the same as the as the real car. Really good hand downforce, really good handling. Uh, this car in Forza Horizon 5 suffers a bit of top speed. I know that it has a B Max option that basically upgrade uh, makes the top speed and much better. But you you will lose the the handling uh, at the same time. So I will suggest to you to just leave it as high downforce mode because on bmax you got you're gonna reach only 600 and well uh, my, my bad like 
on, on as much 380 so you won't reach like super good top speed like you know like a bugatti or a quenny sec you still we have you will still be on 390 as best so i would suggest just leave it in, in, in handling mode and will be uh, the best car you can get especially on its class so what what more we have about this car uh, the sound of the engine is uh, stunning it's pretty much at the same level of the lamborghini Ascensa scb12 the car of the italian pack that if you want to see the the review of the italian pack there is the eye on the sky right there is it, this car sounds like an f1 car it's an absolutely it's, it's an orchestra of sound the the gm8050 overall and what is the best part of this car especially on forza horizon 5 is its price It's basically for free you just need to go to the to the gift se section of the menu and you will find it there waiting for you you just need to download the data and the car is yours for free nothing else to do not even a race or something thanks to the secret santa event so now we're gonna pass to uh, the crew too and this is basically a car that i wasn't expecting because i well thanks to my work i usually tend to forget about a lot of video games and especially events like this i forgot that the t50 and the t50s will be released basically on the christmas week and we were talking about the lacking of top speed on forza horizon 5. in the crew 2 this car is the fastest car in the game yeah this car is much better than the basically the former king of top speed the bugatti chiron 300 plus this car is absolutely insane basically has the best handling that the game can offer with the best top speed and in its hypercar class that is what meant to be the best car on its class and overall in the game is is pretty much uh, can reach over 500 kilometers per hour using nitro is insane like i was able to do the 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 escape uh, activity for the summit on this car and basically blow everything out of the water i wasn't expecting to reach las vegas in such short amount of time and getting even better results than many other streamers and youtubers that cover this game this car is mental and absolutely stunning like it's quite insane to find uh, two, uh, one car being so dominant in two different games that sure in first horizon 5 is more realistic in some way even when the game is just an arcade game but in the crew 2 is just absolutely insane like i don't like we talk about the handling and many other things in the forza horizon 5 section and this is still applies for the car in the crew 2 and it's just uh, like uh it's just absolutely stunning he's he's just insane just to end this i made a small comparison between the t50 and the mclaren f1 just to talk more about how it like how look the same but at the same time are so different you can see the interior the styling cues all these uh, small bits of the mclaren f1 and the gm8050 that makes it so unique at the same time so modern in the especially talking about the about the t50 is basically a, a love letter to the mclaren f1 that if you are a guy from the 90s that likes cars and even if you played like all Need for Speeds, for example, Need for Speed 2, 3, where McLaren F1s were, were really good, and you grow with them, it's, it's, an absolute, it's really, really nice to have basically an evolution of this car, and especially experience it on a game. It's, it, you can see and, and actually introduce to new generations how important that McLaren F1 was to the automotive world and at the same time 
introduce a new version that has the same conservatism of Gordon Murray that applies to all its cars, but at the same time has all the modern bits that that and the technology that offer uh, that uh, in the uh, that uh, the automotive world offer us today. I, I'm rambling here a bit because for me the McLaren F1 is a special car for me. I grew with this car. And uh, even when back then I didn't like it too much, I was more uh, a guy from JDM and, uh, and American cars. I never put attention to the McLaren F1. But when you grow older and wiser, you see how important the McLaren F1 is. And it is still be being important to this day. The, the F1, it cost almost $20 million or even more in auctions and the t50 is was also a response to these high ri high rising prices of of gordon murray's original design he he wanted a new uh, this t50 to be well affordable to you know millionaires of this era that so they don't have to pay to 20 35 million dollars for an example of an f1 but just 1.5 million or even three million, if I'm not wrong. Correct me in the comment section if you know the price of the T50. But it's an absolute stunning car. It's, uh, it's an stunning car to say it that way. And yeah, guys, thank you very much for uh, for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I know that we, again, it was a bit of a ramble, a bit of a more unorganized video on the end. But it just it was meant to be an important video for me. And especially since this video has been recorded on the 24th of December, I wanted to make it special. I wanted to make it more of uh, something that I was talking about the, you know, being a car that I grew with and I started to respect. And I wanted to make it special. That's why I merged two different reviews in one and talk more about the car itself than basically its performance and all that stuff. It's an special car and it and deserves it every and deserves every single bit of it. So let me know in the comment section what do you think about the T50 and the McLaren F1. If you see the connections, if you see if you like the car overall, if you don't like it, just let me know in the comment section. I will be glad to read your comments. And yeah guys, thank you very much and see you on the next one. Goodbye.